those of you who ripped out your wires trying to get the back off of the transmitter for the Havoc Heli to remove the spring here in the throttle, I'm going to show you how to put the wires back on. The orange wire goes right here on the IR sending unit, and that's the top left one if you're looking at it in this direction. And the white wire is the middle one here on the left, the total left side. The white one runs around the back and connects to this tab. You can put it on the top or the bottom, you don't have to remove the circuit board. And that's where the white one goes. The orange one is the top left terminal on the circuit board. So you can solder that wire on top if you want. So be careful, that's how it hooks up. Okay, again on the honeybee. The bottom plug, using the EK20702A uh, receiver, mixer, there's the plugs. The red wire is on the bottom. This bottom wire is the main rotor motor plug. Red on the bottom. The plug on the top is red on the top. And that is your tail rotor motor. So, and also the pots, turn it all the way uh, counterclockwise, then turn it back clockwise to where I have these white dots, and then it's actually about 10 o'clock here and about 9 o'clock here in the position of the dial. That's the way that should be set up. And of course, there is a shear pin right here in the middle, so if you've lost your power and you can't figure out why it's rotating, there's a shear pin in there and you will not be able to use a paper clip. You have to use a piano wire or something stronger to hold that. It takes a lot of abuse. And again, all of these controls are supposed to be neutral at neutral. So I hope that helps. Okay show you one more time. When you plug in your honeybee or any electric helicopter with electric tail rotor motors, plug it in like this and don't move until this light, this blinking green light, turns solid green like that. Now you can pick it up and move. I've got the plug unplugged here for the main rotor so I can show you how this helicopter works. First of all, the transmitter, for those who have messed up, aileron down, elevator up, throttle down, rudder up. That's how these are set up on here. I've got marks on my trims. Make sure they're where you want them to be. I have connected, disconnected both wires here so I can show you how this helicopter is supposed to work. How a helicopter is The throttle stick and rudder stick is here. Left and left nose. Not left tail. It's left nose. Right nose. So try to not look at the tail. I know it's in the way and it jumps all around, but it's the nose you have to worry about. That's where you go. The other stick is four and a half cycling. This causes these blades to tilt forward. Now when you go forward on your stick, the swash blade tilts forward like that. These blades tilt forward like that. And the whole helicopter goes forward like that. Same thing left and right. Left stick, right stick. Just need to pulse it, little pulses as you're flying. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Goes forward, backwards. The whole thing is you're basically centering the helicopter in the middle of a circle using this stick. 
everything should be level. And as you increase your throttle stick, like this, the blade pitch increases. Now that is the way it should work. Everything should be level, and this is the amount of blade pitch you should have at full throttle. At idle, it goes back, full throttle, it goes up. So that's the way it works. You'll notice I also have a piece of tape on this blade because the blades are not usually in true balance, and that's what you want to do. So again, you move your stick forward, the helicopter tilts forward, back, forward, back, forward, left, right. You basically have to hang in the center of the hover. And then, you track your tail. Good luck.